Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Athern 53-foot bulkhead flat cars in end scale, as well as an easy and basically free way to make some lumber loads for them. So first off, let's look at these two Athern 53-foot bulkhead flat cars that I received from Athern recently. These cars have some nice details you can see here with crisp lettering even on the smallest numbers which I couldn't even see until I actually edited this video. The bulkheads on the ends look nice as well as you can see here with the brake wheel and ladders and the stirrups are certainly a little bit oversized for end scale as are some of the other details but that's just pretty much a cost and durability trade-off and usually I would rather have slightly oversized details and ones that are going to break off really easily especially with end scale cars which have obviously very small details to begin with. These freight cars have metal wheel sets and body mounted couplers, both of which really help out a lot during switching operations. And overall, these are great looking cars. And again, the lettering on them is nice and sharp. The underside appears to be a metal casting for added weight, which helps with flat cars, which are notoriously lightweight and end scale. Here's a closer look at the decking of the flat car as well. These cars weigh in at 0.7 ounces, which isn't bad for a flat car and end scale, but I still like to usually have most of my cars up closer to one ounce for you know, optimal reliability when uh, especially switching through turnouts. Anyway, let's get them on the track and see how they do being pushed and pulled through a couple turnouts, which is where typically your lighter cars have the most trouble. The metal wheel sets and that metal casting on the bottom really lowers the center of gravity on these cars, which helps them to track fine over these couple of turnouts. Next, I tried pushing a 1.5 ounce box car with the lighter weight flat cars in front through the turnouts, and I still had no issues at all. I was able to uncouple the cars without knocking any of them off the track, and so really overall, they performed really well out of the box, even at their current weight. But I still think if you add some weight to them, you are gonna have better overall reliability. Now, an easy way to do that is to add a load to these flat cars. I wanted to make some lumber loads for these cars and remembered an article in Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine back in 2011. Steve Perosco had an article on how you could print the wrapping for lumber loads and put them around some wood blocks for his flat cars. Uh, there are images you can print in the article itself from several different lumber manufacturers for H, O, N, and Z scale. And basically you can just cut those out, put them on a piece of wood or plastic, and use them for your loads on your cars. So I cut a couple pieces off a 1x3 pine board to use as a base. One inch lumber is actually three quarter inch in width, and that happens to be the perfect width for an end scale flat car. And the pieces of wood are roughly three quarter inch by three and a half inches in size. But obviously you would cut them to fit whatever car you're using. I cut out a couple of the wraps for end scale, folded the paper over the wood, and then cut them to size. And then I cut the pieces in half so I could flip one side over so the logos would be basically facing right side up on both sides of the lumber load. Then I just took some spray adhesive, sprayed the wood down, and pressed on the paper. Once I had both sides on, I pressed the wrap load against my workbench a few times on all sides to make sure everything was really securely ad adhered, and it was ready to go. So now with the lumber load, these cars weigh in at a nice 1.3 ounces. That extra heft should make them run more reliably, especially if you have any rough track sections or complex turnout configurations or just long runs of cars uh, that you're trying to push through a turnout. 
These loads certainly won't win any awards for looks, but they are cheap and easy to do and they make loads for your cars that you can swap around and they do make your cars potentially run a little more reliably with that added weight. So certainly try it out if you are looking to have some lumber loads on your cars. I'll have links to the MRH article down in the description below if you want to try it out. I'll also have a link in the description below to where you can pick up these Atherin flat cars. And if you want to stay up to date on all of the latest Atherin products that are coming out, be sure to check out Atherin's Train Tuesday video on YouTube that comes out every week. I'll have a link to their channel below in the description as well. But anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.